Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I am going to show you how to prepare rava idli with peanut chutney and ginger chutney. But for this, the batter should be left for fermentation at least 6 hours before the preparation of idli. So, let's see how to prepare the batter first. I have taken 3 cups of urad dal and soaked in water before 6 hours. Now, it is ready for grinding. Before going to grind it, I have soaked rava. Here for 1 cup of urad dal, 2 cups of rava must be taken. Here, I have taken 3 cups of urad dal. So, I took 6 cups of rava and soaked in water. See, I have squeezed all the water from rava and kept aside. This is finely grinded urad dal with sufficient amount of water. Now, I am going to add all the rava into the urad dal grinded batter and mix it well. Here you have to add sufficient amount of salt. After 6 hours, the batter looks like this. Now, take the idli plates and put the batter in it. Here no need of applying any grease or ghee to the plates. In this way, I am filling the idli trays with batter. The same for the all plates. Now I have taken the vessel to cook idli. Here I have added this much level of water. The water level should not be more than that because the idli will be spoiled. Keeping the idli trays into the vessel and closing with the lid. Now I am going to cook it in medium flame. Meanwhile, let us prepare the both chutneys. See, I have taken the ingredients for two chutneys, for ginger chutney and peanut chutney. For this, here I have taken 15 chilies, sufficient amount of jaggery according to your taste. This is tamarind, I have taken one medium sized lemon size. This is one handful of ginger and salt required for both here 12 numbers of chilies this is I have taken uh, uh, we can say one sprig of uh, tamarind uh, this is one cup of peanuts these peanuts are already roasted you can get roasted peanuts in market also or otherwise you can bring them and roast it now I have taken the pan it first I am going to prepare ginger chutney for this taking sufficient amount of oil and preheating it now I am going to take all the chilies and fry it in medium flame until the chilies get roasted see now they are fried taking into a bowl the same way I have roasted this ginger also just to remove the raw smell taking it into the bowl Now, I am going to fry the chilies required for peanut chutney in the same way. Stake it into a bowl. Now, I am going to grind the ginger chutney. Added all the ingredients. Now, I am adding the salt also. Grind it with sufficient amount of water. Uh, make it like this. Don't make it too loose. Now I am going to grind for peanut chutney with sufficient amount of water. 
this peanut chutney need not be very soft now we can have pop for both the items before that let's check whether the idli is cooked or not we can know that idli is cooked if it is not touching to your hands see it is cooked so lit off the stove again taking the pan preheating it adding sufficient amount of oil now let's see the proping ingredients this is urad dal this is broken chana dal this is mustard seeds and this is jeera i have taken two red chillies and broken two sprigs of curry leaves now check whether the oil is heated or not add all the popping ingredients mentioned fry it until it gets popped add curry leaves now it is ready adding it to the peanut chutney now again same popping procedure for ginger chutney also but here i'm going to add ginger chutney to the pan and fry it to make it stay for a week fry it until all the oil gets absorbed by the chutney see now it is done serve the hot idli to a serving plate take a flat spoon to get the idli very neatly serve both the chutneys Tasty Andhra style rava idli is ready. Try this and please give your feedback in comment box. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.